It was on 24 September 2008 when I was walking on the street when the police officer came and asked for my ID. I wasn't carrying it at the moment. He took me to the police station, questioning me about my sexual orientation and my work as a sex worker. I decided not to answer him. That's when he beat me up and locked me with many detainees. I was scared and frustrated at the same time. Eventually, he didn't take the statement because he knew that they wouldn't take it seriously at court. The next day, another police officer came to me, asked what was going on. I explained to him. He understood my situation, then he went to talk to the police officer who arrested me unlawfully. They asked him to apologize and pay for what he did or I would open a case against him. After the whole situation, the police officers advised me not to go back to the streets as it was illegal and that I would rather do indoors work. Then I started working from my hometown until I met up with two friends of mine. They introduced me to Sweat's creative spaces, which I started attending passionately. And now I know my rights and regulations, and now I am a professional transgender sex worker now.